Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on a new Too Faced Holiday Edition palette. And this one is Le Grand Chateau. I hope that that's how you pronounce it. I'm trying my best. Um, this one is the one in this little house, as I've heard it being called. I do believe, though, that maybe like Le Grand Chateau, just by looking at it, makes me think of a little venue or a uh, little hotel <laughs> I'm not sure this is just like my personal thing I don't know because I've seen the other Too Faced palettes which I don't have like Le Grand Palais and to me that looks like a little palace so I'm just assuming here I don't know but anyways this one is Le Grand Chateau and it looks like a little house the little roof comes right off of it and then whenever you get inside you get three palettes and you also get a mascara so this mascara in here is the Too Faced well, obviously it's Too Faced, the uh, Better Than Sex Mascara. So if you haven't seen the Better Than Sex Mascara, it is a pink one. This one is a sample size. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in there, but I do wanna show you the inside just so you can see the little designs that it has inside. You get a dress form on this side. You get the little love seat or whatever it's called. Um, the Eiffel Tower back there. And you know, it's just a lot of little cute things which you can't see whenever it's closed. Now I wanna get into details with the palettes. Now this, these do have a to and from little uh, sticker. It's not a sticker, but it is printed on there. If you wanna give them away, if you wanna give them away separately, you get six shades in each palette. And then you either get a bronze bronzer or a blush in these. So one of them has a bronzer and then these two have blushes. I want to get into detail about the colors that I'm wearing today. I decided to use the pink palette just because I wanted something that was not the same as I've been doing. I already had purple on my eyeshadow and also brown so I was like okay let me go ahead and do something with pinks. The problem was that the pink didn't show up that much and that was the whole point of me trying to use this palette. And also this one doesn't have a transition shade so I ended up using this color right here. So I'm gonna go over what I did for my eye look today. So I did use this color here to set my primer and then I went in with the bronzer actually in the crease area and also I pretty much used it as a transition shade since you don't get an option for that in the eyeshadows. And then I put this one on the lid area because I wanted something pink like I said but it didn't show up. So the only thing I got from that was pretty much shimmer or glitter and then I ended up getting it a little bit on my eyes on the outer part of my eyes but my eyes were a little bit watery so whenever I applied it on there I don't know why it was watery I didn't even realize it until I applied the eyeshadow that it was very bright there so I was like okay well maybe if you put one of those glitter primers it will be a lot better but I don't have one of those but I'm just telling you that this one didn't show up that much so I went ahead and I mixed this one or I put this one on top and then you can see the pink slightly so it's not very pink but it's it's just there kind of and then i use this one in the crease area which also looks very shimmery once you apply all of these colors though they don't look that shimmery anymore so i mean this one just looks glittery without the color and then you get this one and it's not that shimmery these do have a lot of fallout though i am gonna say that the only one that didn't was the matte shade and that's the only color that i feel showed true to color the other ones were pretty light so now that i got that out of the way about what i am wearing on my eyes i kind of want to give you a little idea on what i think about the palettes i do feel that the quality of these three eyeshadows are very similar to la belle carousel this is the holiday palettes that they came out with last year and this was in a little package that was in a carousel pretty much and it does have the little horses on top so if you kind of remember or on the cover that's what I meant but I feel like you get a lot of the same quality if you already have this I would say you don't need Le Grand Chateau but if you want it anyways I'm just gonna tell you that you are gonna get the same quality as you get in these the shimmer is pretty much the same the colors like the pigmentation are pretty much the same the only thing that I did like about last year's was their blush and their bronzers and I have to say that that's what I really like about these three palettes the bronzer that I'm wearing is the only one that comes in this palette so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this right here this is also like I said the one that I used as my transition color and it's not very shimmery either once you apply it I am wearing it right now I would compare it a little bit like I want to show you the difference between the two because they kind of look similar this is the somebody dark this one is Jolie so these are the bronzers that you would get this one's the bronzer that you would get last year and this one's the one in this palette I'm gonna show you the difference though the pigmentation of this one is a lot better 
I just, if you already have this one, I don't think that you need the bronzer. I also want to compare the one with the pink ribbon to the pink palette from last year. You get similar shades and I promise you that those pink eyeshadows look exactly the same once you swatch them or once you apply them. I'm going to go ahead and show you the pink one. So the pink one in here is this middle one and I'm going to try to swatch it as big as possible. But it's a very light pink. Now in the swatch you can tell that it's pink but whenever I applied it you couldn't really tell that much. Now this one is more of a pink purple or like a pink mauve color. And again, you can see it, but once you apply it, it doesn't apply the same way as in the swatch. So just know that sometimes it is different. And then the one from last year is this pink one right here. And this one is called Boxes and Bows. It pretty much looks like these. Like they all look similar. So if you already have this palette from last year, then you don't necessarily need this palette. Now another thing that I want to show you is the brown eyeshadow. So I do want to compare it to the one from this year because you do get, again, a lot of the similar shades. Now I don't want to really get into detail that much because I don't want to make this video super long. And this little eyeshadow of mine broke so I don't want to tilt it too much. But you can tell right there that you get a lot of the same shades. And speaking of Too Faced palettes, I do want to show you the chocolate bar and the semi-sweet. And this one does have a lot of neutrals. You also get a pink. And then on this one, you also get a pink, which didn't work out for me, but you get a light pink in here. And I just think that with these two palettes, you can recreate the same look that you would get in the holiday one. Now, I'm not trying to put it down, but if you're really thinking about getting a Too Faced palette, I would say just go with one of the ones that they have in their permanent line. Just because the holiday ones, I feel like it has a lot to do with the packaging and it being cute, which it is, and it's probably a pretty display item if you want to use the eyeshadows they're not that pigmented and I don't see myself reaching for them a lot just because I feel like I can already do the looks with other palettes. I do feel that you can create maybe you know a dark look like a day and night look with each of these palettes I'm not saying that you can't I think that you can um, but I just feel like you can do the same looks using other palettes that you may already have. So compare what you already have with what I'm showing you in this video and you can kind of get an idea on if you, if you should get it or not. But that is pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see on Beauty News. And also if you want to see more upcoming holiday stuff that I have to show you. I will see you all in my next one. Bye!